Today we are going to turn day into night. Hello my friends and let's get started. This is a video that was requested by Greg, one of my Patreon supporters and the first thing we are going to do today is click on adjustments to create an HSL adjustment. We use this for two reasons. First is to reduce the saturation and we need that because the human eyes is, eye is built in a way that when there is less light we also see less color so it's going towards black and white but not completely. So we want to adjust this later on when we introduce the night color and of course luminosity is important because we want the picture to be darker after all it is night time. So we can adjust this later to our taste. The next thing we want to do is go over to our rectangle tool and just create a rectangle over all of the picture and we have to select a color because this will be our night light color or night sky color and unless you're really good with digital painting I can almost guarantee that you will not find a fitting blue color so the solution to that is just go on Google and search any kind of picture with a night sky where you like the color and use that as a reference. I use this one just as a reference. So let's click on our rectangle again and click up here where it says fill and then we have here our color picker and we will pull that over here and select a color that we like and then click again up here on this uh, dot that now has our blue and now we have the rectangle that has the correct blue tone for a night sky. Okay we can hide the picture again and now all we need to do is just multiply it with the background and you can see it's pretty dark now so we can still adjust this back in our HSL adjustment layer give it a little bit more brightness maybe like this so it really depends on what you want to have and if there is moonlight or not so also if there is moonlight you probably should use a picture that has moonlight in it as a reference because this will change the color of the sky and now you can also see if we would have all our colors still it would look very strange for a night picture and with reduced color not completely but enough you can adjust it in a way where you see something that looks good to you because after all it's very much based on your choice. Another thing that we can do now of course um, is to create a new layer on top of the rectangle layer because it should not be influenced by the rectangle layer and there we can for example go in here and put some light into that window. The way we do that is select our freehand selection tool and then go up here to add because we want to create multiple selections so click here not on new but on add that's important and then you can just click up oh, sorry there we go you hold shift and you click and then you click again and this will create a straight line so there we go and when you click on the first blue point uh, point it will close the line and you can make the second selection and we will use that to just select all of the glass parts of the window. There we go. Up here we can even be a little bit fancy and have this kind of rack cut out so there is something in the window. That's quite okay. There we go. Okay, so now that we have the selection the next thing we do is just take our brush tool and then select a color that we like for the light and what I would suggest is that you make a rather large brush and make it soft on the edges so here I have it 7% you can go even lower and the reason for that is that you can see that we have darker light on the edges and a little bit more light in the middle so it creates a little bit of a gradient it looks a little bit more natural than just filling it with a solid color so just one click and there we go we have some light in our window and of course this is too sharp it's too exact so what we're going to do is select the layer that we just created with the window light go to effects and then we go to Gaussian blur and just blur it a little bit you can see instantly it looks better you can even try to match um, the sharpness of the picture a little bit and you can also go to color uh, to auto glow sorry and select the color of your light there we go and 
adjust the radius of the glow so you have a little bit of glow maybe not too much but you can see when you zoom out a little bit you have a better idea of how it looks in the complete picture so don't go too crazy with the glow or i mean it really depends on the taste of what you want to reach with your picture what kind of style what kind of look you want to have and of course what we can do because down here we have the water so we have a reflection is that we just duplicate our layer there we go and we just pull it down we go to arrange and say flip vertically so it's upside down and then we just put it in the right position let's zoom in a little bit so we are really at the right position that we need there we go and i would suggest let's zoom out a little bit because it is a reflection it should be not as bright so we reduce the opacity a little bit down here so it's less bright than the original light because like i said it's a reflection and there we go we have our nighttime picture with a little bit of light in the window and of course you can play around with this and create whatever you want and add elements and other light sources be creative i'm interested to see what you created if you like my videos i do a new video every three days so maybe subscribe to my channel and if you want to support me even more head over to patreon where i will uh, where you get as a reward the uh, pictures with all the layers you can post pictures and get feedback from me and we can even do a live chat to talk about things that are interesting to you. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.